I love you, Lord. For now we've known what we did not know, and our life shall surely be preserved. Let your presence saturate the whole auditorium, the whole of this auditorium, and let Jesus be showcased. We give you honor and praise. Our nation Ghana is blessed for every spiritual controversy has been subdued. We give you honor and praise that the work you put into our hands will not be unfortunate. It will not suffer damage, but it will be on the right track for Jesus to surely be elevated. We give you honor, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Normally feel very bad. So I, I, I respectfully ask that when we say praise the Lord, then you respond with the answer. Hallelujah! Yeah. So we are we are waiting for our brother Eric to come and tell us a little about this conference. And after that, we know we are far behind time. We will soon straight into the program and go on so that at the end of the day we can go and do what the Lord has assigned us to do. Right? On the program you are to give us the open remarks. So with all due respect. I give you the man. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, you all welcome to the third edition of Geneva Self Safety and Security Conference. Uh, this conference was built last year with the main aim that all ministers or men in ministry who understand what it means to be safe and also appreciate the need of security. So, it's a network of ministers coming together or protocols in ministry where we can share or judge all uh, issues that are pending, happening, and what we can do to get them through our uh, services. Because sometimes in service you see an attack from outside coming to you or come to the pastor, a man of, uh, an animal just entering, who is this man of God, they try to use a gun on you. Some that they hurt their members. We want to see how do we work together as ministers of God with the, with our ushers or with our protocol team so that they can see far the evil that are put in the churches. That is how can we are gathering, gathering together or have this meeting more often like twice in a year to know what we can do. Just 12th of this month, 12th May this year, NASA a security sent a press release that all churches must adhere to security at the place of worship. That means that we have been a good job. So we want to continue doing this job that all ministers of God should adhere to security. Amen. Amen. So once again, we are, we are here together to learn more about safety and security and what we can do together. Somewhere two, three years ago in Akachi, a man of God and his wife were, were killed in their own house. After some few days, we, we had that the body were you know, smelling, and so it was just horrible. Hallelujah. So that's why we are gathered to, together to learn more about safety and security and what we can do to protect ourselves in our various church places and also home as well. Thank you once again. Once again, you all welcome to the third edition of the GOSSC 2022. God bless you. God bless you, our brother Rick, and we thank God for bringing you into our midst to give us tips about our own security. But sometimes we think and pray much for our members without thinking about the body of our own self, which is the temple of God. Uh, there is a warning in the Bible that if we don't take care, we destroy the temple, we too may be destroyed. And therefore, we have to take proper care of it. Amen. Yeah. We thank God for the lives of our dear pastors here and very importantly those invited to lead us in this August program. Uh, we have in our midst uh, Reverend Doctor Okay, he's the No, it is a direct indication that you don't know. So I believe that all of us will agree with me that all of us don't know. We want to learn something new in our life. Thank you very much. I will take advantage and also welcome another high-level professional who is 
has decided to hide himself amongst it. I would expose him, whether he likes it or not. And that is my friend. I schooled with him in Israel. I'm a product of a uh, university in Israel, and he's also a product. I studied natural and environmental disaster management and safety. He studied counter terrorism. And for that matter, I want to, Mr. Um, <laughs> Uh, my brother Thompson uh, to show himself to you. He doesn't want me to tell you where he's working. Uh, I will not say it as long as he has told me not to tell you. I am not saying, but he's coming from a place when I mention you realize that he's really a, a counter terrorist, uh, terrorism aspect. He's here to support us. And in case there's any contribution or input you want to make, he is prepared to do that before he leaves. I know my, my brother, my senior brother, uh, COP, has been, my name has been mentioned, and for that matter, I take the role and start uh, the whole process. I am PhD anyway, but that is not important here at the moment. And uh, we're talking uh, about terrorism, Today, uh, we look at terrorism, we look at um, how terrorism starts, and we look at key targets of terror, or terrorists. We look at cases in um, other parts of the world. And then also, we look at how do probably I report suspicious uh, uh, activities, and then we look at general and specific Line. Now, as men of God, uh, we cannot start anything without looking at certain things in the Bible. The Bible has almost everything, you know, captured. And for that matter, first of all, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24, the Bible says, When thou lies down, I'm trying to come up with a vision of God for us as men of God and as Christians. When we lie down, we should or we shall not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thou sleep shall be sweet. That is the vision of God for us as Christians. God wants us to sleep and have sound sleep and good sleep. When we come to Psalm um, 3, verse 4, the Bible says, I cry out to the Lord, and he answered me from his um, holy mountains. I lay down and uh, sleep, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. And that is another vision of God for us as Christians. God wants us to have our peace whenever we sleep or we live our lives. And then thirdly, I have come to the New Testament. The New Testament, starting from Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12, is saying that there will be problem in the world. And that is what we are looking at. Now the Bible says, one of the prophecies of Jesus Christ, he said, because of increase of wickedness, because of weak increase of wickedness, the love of many will grow cold. Because of increase of wickedness, the love of many will grow cold. And that means that we are finding ourselves, or we will surely find our agenda, or sometimes ideological uh, agenda. And I don't know whether you've gone far. Come back a bit. Good. Uh, go. Okay, go ahead. Um, a sample of uh, a terror way of dressing is what we have at the moment. Um, I don't want to read it to you know specific region, but forgive me about the fact that the mantra is in okay. 
So it's, it's a good program, and um, I'm glad you are part of it. God bless us all. Amen. 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 Oh boy. And now, we want to look at the security of situations at home, at our offices, on the streets. This is uh, something that every church member, not only pastors, so uh, if you invite us, you can come to various churches, maybe two or three churches together. So the members, not only the, but the members must also know. Currently, as I'm talking to you right now, there are 350 churches that have been attacked throughout the world. This is outside, more outside from mosques. So you can see that terrorism is even at like destroying churches. In West Africa, there are 49 churches. And Ghana, our peculiar situation is such that they have attacked Togo on the May, this year, 2022, May 11th. They killed 11 people. I don't know whether they wanted to kill 11, that's why they, they attacked on the 11th. Togo, Togo, just Togo here. 11 people were killed. In Niger, 34 people were killed. Mali, whole number. In fact, they killed almost. All our neighboring countries, Togo, Niger, Mali, Côte d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, attack all these nations around us, but maybe by divine, as we are reverend ministers, we believe that God spared Ghana. But it doesn't mean that we should cross our legs and just look at God. Those of you who have held, uh, read the Bible very well, no, Nehemiah. Security is not alien to the Bible. The Bible says that Nehemiah chapter 4, as they were building, others too were holding swords, cutlasses, uh, bows and arrows. If they had guns, some would have been holding guns to defend. So, and it's recorded in the Bible, and they were able to. And then, if we come to the New Testament, we heard that, and the people pick up swords to help it at Jesus. But because he had some power, the people couldn't throw the stone. The Bible even said that he passed through the mist and went away. But when he came to Paul, he hadn't got a new power. They stoned him. And by his grace, he just got up. And Stephen, they stoned him and he died. So you need to look. He said that they are apostles. They have surrounded themselves with security. Please, don't criticize them. It is good. Just go to them. It's there. And they took Paul for dead. But by divine something, Paul got up. But Stephen couldn't get up. So we need security. But the same thing that attacked Jesus. But they couldn't throw the stone. So we know that <laughs> maybe there is some power to, but maybe you and me, we are not really there. Maybe some of you are there. They throw stone, you can survive. But <laughs> let's, let's not use uh, our uh, strength to fight this battle. Let's use the systems. So please take this lesson seriously. It is in the Bible. They attack so many Christians. They kill so many of them. Fiscally. You are there, they come and call you. Uh, the Bible recalls that they called James. They went and killed him, slaughtered him like a fowl. And they came and arrested Peter also. But prayer was made for him. How much prayer can you offer? Peter shall run away to live another time. So we we'll go to security of situations at home, office, on the street. So please take time and move with me. When we finish the questions, security on the streets, and I'm saying avoid dark streets. You reach another building, the two, the alley between, then you pass the part there. If you are lucky, and somebody has opened a door, you enter in a beggar. <laughs> <laughs> When we are confronted by robbers and they demand a valuable of money, give it out. And I've added the word quickly. Don't let them cut your hand before you give it. Don't let them slap you before you. Maybe your teeth are not as strong as mine. They give you one side, they know that. <laughs> before now, you are going to pay money again. Give it quickly. Please, I beg you. The word is quickly. Mm -hmm. Robbers, they attack you. Even if you can fight them, it is not wise. It is not wise. That's why we need to employ security. We need to employ 
security and the check premises everywhere. Later on, I will be around if you need the security company. I'm a patron to one account. Uh, need you to, to give you a good price. Ah, have you reached it? Yeah. Be very cautious. Ah, okay. Be, go. Be very cautious when you hire a taxi. As of taxi drivers, I teach in disguise. One of our church members fell a victim. They, it, was, it was a good gesture. The taxi driver, oh, madam, Jesus. What? It's a, and when she was opening, she saw that it was uh, sealed. It was not water. But she drank it and she slept. Mm. Then we went and found her. She sit here. Uh, the story was in the papers. For the drunk uh, near the uh, the Koyo Medical Hospital that we have my blood. Near the one, the one the medical pardon. Yeah, they went and dump uh, near that no that place is isolated. It was so small, small children they found it. She might have died. She's a member of our church. It's a true story. How much is water? How can you mean taxi driver give me water? Mm -hmm. Me, I can buy water one <laughs> box and dash it to the taxi driver. So don't be, I beg you, I'm sorry, but the word is don't be petty. Uh, don't take things. Rather be ready to give. Taxi drivers give you water, don't take. They give you Coca Cola, don't take. Taxi driver will never give you water in Coca Cola. So, <laughs> no, no, there are some things you know. So, uh, as soon as taxi driver is playing too nice to you, yes. be suspicious immediately. Yeah, we'll buy you them. Any commercial driver, even if truck truck, and so, because of you, there's no flow, but you don't understand. That's why I will, okay, because of you, I will take you. Be suspicious. That way, that way, me, your papa. Or this car, no, he will charge you. So, as soon as truck truck is the bus is taking you, they're going to kill you. So, don't accept free. Keep edges around the house where it's sent. Doors and windows must be strong and well fixed. The store will get proof if possible. Fortify your doors when going to bed in the night. For down, we have super locks. Mm -hmm. super locks. Some people do put an alarm on their locks. So you can try and do that. Don't just, uh, some people even put uh, behind wardrobes and other tables. You don't know what we have here. But if you have uh, the modern doors, it's good. Spend money to buy that one. Don't put your issue a capital to where you pay that. <laughs> you think that you have seen it. Do not keep your kids at obvious or predictable places. Mm -hmm. For example, when I was young, we used to keep our kids in the flower pot. Under the flower pot, so my mother knows where my father has kept the key. But it shouldn't be obvious like that. Today is under the flower pot, tomorrow at another place. Go down with it. Don't leave it regularly at one place. Even today, you can have about two or three kids. So keep one, let your wife keep one. Don't keep your key anywhere. You should I keep it under the mat. If you go up, uh, just raise the mat. But you think that mother doesn't know mat. <laughs> uh, even he has the mind more than you. In the first place, you will come over this in the house. That is what is happening in Tamil right now. They will come to the house, nobody is there, they will break in. And they will start open, take the bath, look on there, it's not there. Go to the flower pot, it's not there. They will look on the garden, the flowers. And any suspicious item, even cylinders, which are outside, they will put there. So they know where to look. When the people you employ in your house, for example, your houseboy, your cook, your nanny, your drivers, garden boys, security guard, please go and get security certificates for them. Right, to the director of the CID and check. Nobody knows. Hmm? Our brother was sharing uh, this morning with us about the uh, terrorists. 
it is easy for any person to become a terrorist. It's very easy because they come around with huge money. So that your uh, houseboy or your garden boy, you just can give him $10,000. Ah, that's about where you took you. $10,000, you collect. That's why I'm saying it's easy. So check, go and check with their problems with their everything, their DNA. So make sure that they are here. Let's hear from them what they have for us. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, by God's grace, I'm part of Yonak Tikita. And uh, from here, I'll come to your church and service to you. So please be, be expecting me that I'll come and give you some just to buy for your church building and for your home as well. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Yeah. My name is Maryam from Yonak Digita. Today I want to introduce our project to you. <laughs> this is our video intercom log. It's a door lock, a smart door lock. It features a smart card. This is the emergency key. This key, um, most of the time, we advise those that buy it to keep it outside where the lock is. So, in case you need it, it's only for emergency. You don't need to use it constantly. So, when it comes to the lock, anybody that, is, that comes to the lock, all you have to do is to just press the bell. And when you press the bell, the light here, when it's connected to Wi-Fi, it will come on. So whoever is at your entrance, you see the person through your phone. Or even when you're in the room, you can see the person. And this lock also allows you to talk through the lock with whoever is at your entrance when you are home. It has a a mobile app that allows you to control the lock remotely. When you are home, you can you can choose to use it. But when you are not home, no matter where you are, any part of the world, you can access it. So long as your lock is connected to it, you can access it. And if you want to lock it, you don't need a key to lock it. All you have to do is to just press it. Yeah. When you press the screen, when you press the screen lock over here, then the locks will come out fully. And when you want to open it, if you have a card, all you have to do is to swipe the card on the face like this. One second, and then your door is open. It's very secure, so even if anyone is chasing you, you can still run to your room. <laughs> and we also have the fingerprint. The fingerprint is in between the handles. So all you have to do is to just put your hand here, then it's also open. And you realize this one, when it goes in, it only takes a few seconds and it comes out. And if you think you are outside, so maybe you, can, you don't have access to the key, the card, or any of it, and you want to open it, you will not be able to. It's very secure. You won't be able to. So the only thing you can use is this.
um, bad luck uh, the, the opportunity to record everything that happens in front of our doors. Now, does the Ghana police have a gadget where I can easily call and tell them I have this security gadget. It has these features, but I want to link it up to your office so that records are kept there for my safety, personally. Not necessarily for, um, 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 for the entire market. So you personally go to them, talk to them, like the way you can go to them and ask for level of security, if that can be done, if the Ghana police has such an opportunity, if you can give us a little idea about that. Thank you. Uh, if you would know, mind, let's take about two, three questions so that when I give the mic to him, he can respond to them all. Any further question? If not, then I'm giving the mic. Okay, thank you. I saw him writing, so if your question comes, he will put it down. When I give the mic to him, then he answered them all. I'm Reverend Yahoo Pong and Kong. Yes, yes, sir. I'm representing Ghana about this convention. I salute the anointing, sir. Uh, I think uh, you, you started from the New Testament where in Nehemiah you keep the, in the Old Testament, you in the New Testament by the story of uh, Stephen. I wanted to add this, and this will be a very strange one. You know, Christians, we are, we are taught that when we pray, close our eyes. <laughs> uh, so, what advice would you keep? Because for almost about 10 years, I know the pray that crossing my eyes because of <laughs> uh, keeping my mind that oh maybe some somebody who came, come from somewhere or come from somewhere attack somebody. I had that one, that instance. So uh, hello, it, it become part of us. And as we talk about security, I think our eyes is the best one. So I want you to address that. Questions for the retired CPP. Any further question? If not, then straight away to him. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, the first uh, question. Yes, we have a device alert. You know, if you go to our te technical uh, technology room, we have uh, systems that can even uh, give us the movement of vehicles, where we have uh, traffic jams, etc. All this every day in Accra, almost all the decisions we have uh, TV, TV data has been developed to capture all these things. And we have, from the West African security system, uh, just about the time I was about to exit, they brought something, I for, just forgotten the name, but there's a possibility that it may be there. Uh, currently, I think it is connected to the principal characters, I guess the principal characters, the president house, the vice president, IGP, army commander, uh, I know it will be developed to the extent that even probably me I can get one. So I think there's a possibility. Now it has been four years since I left office. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> so then uh, uh, my very good friend, Reverend is a doctor. It's an area, area head, uh, Baptist. Please, uh, please listen to this very carefully. I'm not saying that if you are praying, we should close our eyes. We, what I am saying is that we will employ security to ask for close eyes. They will watch over you. They will open their eyes. You see, yes, that is, that is what must be done. If you are working with your security and you close your eyes. I need to go there. The way he lies the security. So let's employ security. That's why I said that I even I have a security organization there. If you contact me, I can give, uh, employ, give some to your church. Maybe every Sunday two people can come. I don't know. I think I've, I've dropped one about uh, our friends, and I don't even see it is in my slide. If you go to church, uh, we are taking our friends. You have to write to us, the police. So we bring police there. Because I'm robbers, the day you are making a, a harvest, I have to call thousands of fundraising. 
That rubbish will come around. I have it in my side. I don't know why. They didn't dump it out. It's there. I have it. It's really rich there. When I finish, I will show it to you. So you have to show the physical presence of the police. Let the police be around. Let everybody they know that police are around. It doesn't matter the time we we'll close. Maybe we we'll close at two, three, four. Let the police come out to like we are sitting here. Let the public know that the police are around to collect the money. Even if you are going to keep it in your room, put a, an appearance that the money is going to the bank. Then announce the bank. Then the police are there to take our company. But when you feel you can swipe them and take it to your house. So, <laughs> yes. But because if you are familiar, make it, make it public. Let them know that, oh, the police are here. Then you invite them to your stage so that the people will know that the police are there. And then you will invite the bank people to our stage. This is yes, the, probably you take it to the bank, but they don't know. They didn't see the police, they didn't see bank people. So they thought that the fund that you have raised that day, you are taking to us. And the first place they were attacking the senior person. If they go there and they don't get they'll go to the senior senior person. And they will, they will beat you, honestly. That one there, I can assure you. If they come and you don't give them the offering. But when you have announced publicly that the police are there to take the money with the bank managers to the bank. You are free. You are free. I have a slide like that. So when I was, I think I didn't cover a uh, letter or now, I can. <laughs> what, what, you want to finish bring my this let me see. So these are some of the things. So please, you can close your eyes. When you go home, you can sleep. But make sure that you have security to watch over you. Don't listen to people who say, I saw for crying, I hope it's great. No, don't listen to them. They are the ones who are their brothers. <laughs> yeah, they'll come, yes. You see, if you are a pastor, you don't listen to God, you listen to the people, you become like Saul. Saul was listening to the people. And then when God says, he said, the pressure of the people. Yeah, but nobody going to tell God that pressure of the people. Let's listen to God. This is the voice of God through me to you. Hey, just, just before you take the microphone from me, okay. uh, my name is Nanam Pedwapi. Um, I, in your slides, you mentioned that it is something that is of your wish. I'm talking about uh, uh, COB. That before you get jobs, you have to get uh, security, uh, criminal records. Okay. okay. So, there's one thing about in that particular document which doesn't make it. Uh, it may be authentic from the police, but it doesn't carry the true character of whoever it is being handed to. Why am I saying that? I've done that a couple of times so people who are outside. The police have no records of them out there. Some people who are here, the police have no records of them. So that what somebody is coming, because me, if you give me a criminal record that you've got in from uh, the police that you have fled, I don't believe it because I have taken it before. And, and, and no question was asked, it's just a picture of whoever. You can bring anybody's name, you can do it for anybody. The person doesn't need to be at the police headquarters, they will get it within three days as long as you pay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, in the Western world or the European countries, as soon as you are born, all your details, the schools you attended, every from uh, when you finish uh, JSS, your final report, copy is handed to the police. SS, your copy is handed to the police. First degree, you are all the records they are there. Your first employment, everything. So they, we started from somewhere. Ghana, we didn't start from that age. Even I myself, it was when I was in secondary school before my uncle gave the date of birth. You see, 
my father's my father's junior brother. He, he had my records and he traveled outside. And you know, in those days, you don't have a mobile phone. When you are going to call the whole family, you have to go to the post office. So you can't go to out to your office so that records are kept there for my safety, personally. Not necessarily for um, 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 for the entire market. So you personally go to them, talk to them, like the way you can go to them and ask for level of security, if that can be done, if the gun police has such an opportunity, if you can give us a little idea about that. Thank you. Uh, if you go, they have uh, systems that can even uh, keep us the movement of vehicles, where we have uh, traffic jams, etc. All this every day in Accra, almost all the decisions we have uh, TV, TV, the data that they develop to capture all these things. And we have from the West African security system, uh, just about the time I was about to exit, they brought something, I for, just forgot the name, but there's a possibility that it may be there. Uh, currently, I think it is connected to the principal characters, I guess the principal characters, the president house, the vice president, IGP, army commander. Uh, I know it will be developed to the extent that even probably me, I can get one. So I think there's a possibility. Now, it has been 